Another topic you mentioned was automation. I think you said automation at scale. Can you talk a little bit about what you saw in the survey around automation? Sure. So if you look at, for example, performance of top performing organizations in, in the survey, as I mentioned, our methodology and uh, being able to do a cutoff at top 20% based on key performance indicators, and look at and see what these folks really have in place and what makes them, uh, uh, allows them to outperform their peers. And we look at the list of capabilities that they are anywhere between 50% to three, four, five X more likely to have in place. What a lot of these capabilities have in common, they are automation capabilities. And we're seeing, uh, there is a major uh, change that we are seeing in the market. We did a similar research, say seven, eight years ago, and we asked similar questions about interest in automation capabilities. Numbers are pretty low. Part of the reason why organizations are now more open to deploying uh, uh, automation capabilities, they are doing a better job of building the data lake, if you will. And uh, even though we talked about the need for more context before, they are doing a better job of managing their data. So they're trusting their data now to put it uh, to work and be able to automate processes and, and tasks based, based on um, um, data they have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the questions I wind up asking, or I've, I've heard people ask, uh, if, if the business comes to you and said, you know, IT, we have an idea that would double our revenue, but we need to increase IT capacity by 5x. A lot of IT organizations turn around and say, well, I'm going to have to hire a lot more people. And that's just not going to happen. There aren't enough people. You can't hire them quickly enough. So really the answer to be able to say yes to the business is automation. So how do you build an automated system that would allow you to drastically increase capacity without increasing headcount at the same rate? And that's all about automation. One of the things I find is that automation a lot of times is about provisioning, or people think about it as, as uh, remediation, but there's a lot of areas to automation. It's tool to tool, it's a release process, tool chaining. It's you know, how do you get to a lights out operational environment where the, the system just works? You know, problems are detected, problems are found, problems are resolved without having a human at the keyboard trying to solve them. And that's obviously you know, a long-term goal, but I, th I find that the organizations that are doing the best uh, in best serving the business are the ones that have really thought through this and are building processes that dr are driven by automation. You brought up a very interesting point when you uh, were talking about the whole approach of let's uh, hire more people. Uh, what we found in the study that's not going to work for m multiple reasons. One you mentioned already is if you go to business folks and ask for a budget for something like that, that's probably not going to happen. But the second part is what we found in the study that 78% of organizations that participated are saying that throwing more people at the problem is not going to solve the problem. So even if you have resources to do it, it's not going to work. The second thing is if you look at the what's, what's happening at, from a technology perspective, 88% of these organizations are saying that the amount of alerts and metrics and events increased over the last 12 months. So to deal with this type of velocity of data that needs to be processed is just not humanly possible, even if you can hire more people. That you just have no choice in many of these use cases but to uh, add some autom automation capabilities. Which, what I mentioned also, it, it was very important, and that's where the scalability part uh, comes to play, is it's important you, ca you, have, you can do this at scale. So uh, being able to deal with more, more events and more metrics and more, uh, more complex architectures that are generating more data, uh, automation is a very important piece, but uh, the scalability also uh, becomes more and more important. So automation is definitely the key to the agility that everybody wants IT to have. Right.